Looking for something fun to do? Come on, let's get out, Beaver County. Greetings from Cafe Kalache in downtown Beaver. We're here to talk about an exciting event this weekend, Beaver Tales. The MC is with us, Hugh Harper. Hi, everybody. Hugh, this is a night of storytelling. It is, actually, this is the 10th annual storytelling event for Beaver. Uh, this year, it is going to be held as it was last year at the pavilion, or I'm sorry, the uh, gazebo at Irvine Park. It's gonna be super exciting. This is the 10th annual. Now these storytellers, these are people who, they travel the world they to do. collect these stories. They do, they travel all over the world. And this, Scott, is, is almost a lost art in and of itself. It used to be that people would gather around you know, fires and, and they would talk about these stories and they would tell tales like, um, uh, uh, Alibaba and the Forty Thieves, and, and, and a, lot of, a lot of stories from the Bible itself come from the spoken word. It's not lost with these people. They definitely have a grasp on it, and it will definitely grab a hold of the attention of young and old, guaranteed. Give me a feel. Who are, who are some of these people? So, first up on the docket is a lady by the name of Marsha Wong, who was, I want to say she was raised in Jamaica and she has a lot of interesting tales involving uh, the immigration of, of folks from Jamaica into the United States, for example. Uh, another person coming up is the Reverend Robert Jones Sr. This guy is a multi-instrumentalist, and when I had seen some of his YouTube specials, some of the things that he had put out were like blues and he would talk to the audience at the same time a really super engaging individual up next i would say would be temujin who tells a lot of stories about the african-american story along with talking african drum so i haven't seen this yet but i'm super know. excited to find out what that's all about and finally on the docket who i have seen is mr don white this guy is without question one of the funniest they, how would you label him i mean he's a folk singer he's a guitarist they, what's he call himself a troubadour mm. and uh, no you don't hear troubadour very often would you <laughs> say that you are a troubadour i i strive to be but i have a way to go yeah well this guy is really funny i tell you scott it's going to be in a night to remember undoubtedly a lot of people need to know there, there's no tickets, right? Free event? Absolutely not. It's a free event brought to you, all of us, by the Beaver Heritage Foundation, which is really awesome. And again, like I had mentioned earlier, it's going to be at the gazebo on September 21st at 7 o'clock. So what people are recommending, you bring a lawn chair, you bring your blankets to sit on, you can bring some vittles, and you bring you. That's the most important thing to remember to bring. You. I, I've forgotten myself so many times, I can't tell. <laughs> As MC, you'll have a, a story or two, I have a feeling. Uh, or at least an accent or a voice. Well, you see, there's a very good possibility, Scott. <laughs> I might bring out a character or two. One never nearly knows. <laughs> it's going to be a good time, though. It's got to be. If Hugh Harper here at Cafe Colossus says so, you can bank on it. So thank you for joining us at Get Out this weekend. For more entertainment ideas, check back next Wednesday at timesonline.com. Say that in Japanese. それはTimes.com でございます。よろしくお願いいたします。Something. Thank you guys.